driver multiplayer is unlike any online driving game you've ever played before. In fact, it's unlike any online game you've played before. And the shift brings with it chaos and unpredictability to the excitement of driving games. The game has been designed with uh, online in mind right from the start. One of the problems with multiplayer driving games is that quite often on the first bend in a, a chase or a, or a race, if you have a crash, that can be the end of the fun. But with shift, what you can do is instantly shift into another car in the traffic and get back in the action, so you're never left behind. Everything can just turn on a dime right at the end of the race or chase or whatever mode that you're playing. Everybody's got shift, right? So you're driving along, you've got your objective in the traffic, you see a bolt of light and this car suddenly becomes an enemy and it's ramming you and smashing into you. And you can do the same to him. You can, uh, you can shift up ahead and you can T-bone him out of nowhere. We have 11 modes for the online element. We have a mixture of cooperative team-based uh, games and also adversarial games as well. And they range from the usual online games, races, tag, but also some interesting base defense games as well. We have a mode called Trailblazer where you have to uh, compete with each other to try and uh, stay as close as you can to a getaway car. It's a stream of yellow light and players compete to absorb that stream of light. And it sounds very simple, but when you watch people play this mode, it's just incredible because they're all jostling for position. We took some inspiration from other uh, genre of video game like FPS. So we have a capture of the flag where obviously you have to find the flag and carry it to your base. And uh, the others, they try to uh, run down your car in order to make the flag fall. Then you can uh, grab it and bring it to your base. Shift is also a little bit different in online multiplayer. It has three functions. One of those is car spawn, which just spawns a car on the, uh, on the spot. You can also transform a car from one car into another car. So say you end up in a, a slow vehicle like a bus, you can very quickly transform that into a much quicker car. And the third thing that we have is the impulse, and that allows you to apply a kick to someone else's car. So say, for example, they're chasing after your friend, you can apply an impulse to them, and it will give them a kick and so suddenly they'll find themselves driving sideways or backwards. Even though we've been designing this game for as long as we have, even though we've had multiplayer up and running for as long as we have, it's still something that gets people in the studio laughing and enjoying playing it. Once you get a bunch of friends together all competing with the, the shift ability and stealing cars off each other, it gets quite heated at times. 